So tell us why you're qualified for another four-year term. Well, I've got basically the same experiences. I've done everything in the mine. In 2006, Joe Hart ran for state mine inspector. No one bothered to check if he was really qualified, but we did. And he wasn't. In 2006, Arizona law said the mine inspector must have at least four years of experience in underground mining. Why? Because that's where we see all around the country and here in Arizona is where people get killed. Underground. But Joe Hart will tell you he submitted absolute proof of his qualifications. So here's his so-called proof. Four letters from family and friends, all saying the same thing. Joe Hart was born in 1944, and as a child, he went to work with his father in an underground mine. That ended when Joe was a teenager in the 1950s. That's it. That's Joe Hart's underground mining experience. Going to work with Daddy. Now, four years later, facing Manuel Cruz, who's a real documented, adult-trained, and experienced miner, Joe Hart and his friends at the Arizona legislature decided to pull a fast one. At the very end of the legislature in June, they changed the law, dropping the requirement for experience in underground mines so that Joe Hart's lack of experience wouldn't matter. Joe Hart calls it a technicality. But tell that to the miners all over Arizona and to this grandfather. Ricky was a... Uh... She was smart. <laughs> yeah, she was smart. She always wanted to help her dad. These mine shafts are not being used or nothing. They got to be covered up. With thousands of abandoned and underground mines across Arizona, we must have a qualified independent state mine inspector. And that's not Joe Hart. Please vote for the one man who is qualified to be state mine inspector. Vote for Manuel Cruz. I'm Manuel Cruz, and I approve this message. 